Hello, my name is Martin Smons. I'm the creator of the Lexus Start to Run. In this video, I will explain to you the complete procedure of how the Lexus Start to Run software works. So for the installation, you just have to double click the executable, accept on the agreement, uh, press next a few times. If you didn't install the required USB LAN drivers yet, um, it will automatically detect it and uh, give you the option to make this installation. Just press next. And now the software is correctly installed and ready for use. So for the setup, make sure that your power supply is turned on and connected to the LIN master and the PCB. For the PCB, we use the Melexus 81325. Um, for this, you can both use the low and high power. Um, the LIN master itself is connected through USB, USB with your computer. Um, and uh, the LIN communication itself uh, goes through this cable um, to the PCB. So the supply is connected through uh, these two cables with the PCB. The LIN communication comes in with, uh, through this pin. Um, this make, make sure the jumper is connected with uh, these two pins and not uh, some others. Um, the motor itself is connected on these three pins. And um, last but not least, we have the shunt resistance here, which is used for the current measurements. And it's also important to know as an input of your starter on GUI. This is the low power version of the 81325 EVB. And the only difference between the high power EVB is that the supply connectors are inverted. When you want to open the Melixis Start Run GUI itself, make sure no other applications are active on your computer which make use of, your, of the uh, Melixis LIN Master. Because this way these applications will block the Melixis Start Run software. Um, so in the, for the GUI itself, if you want to try to make your motor run, first program the correct firmware by pressing on the programming button. When the software is programmed successfully, uh, you have to put in some input parameters. Um, these are the shunt resistance, uh, which I explained where you can find this on your EVB. Uh, the maximum current of the motor you uh, are going to use. Be careful because this current will be used by the software and the number of pole pairs of your motor, uh, but this value is optional. Uh, when this is ready and you are sure these parameters are correct, just press run and everything will be started. So down here you have uh, some progress bars. The upper one uh, gives the information about which test is uh, currently ongoing and the lower one how far uh, the current state of this test is. At the end of the test, um, Start Run will try to make the motor run and perform a BKMF measurement. When your motor now is turning in the wrong direction, um, you can just press stop in the Start Run GUI, switch two of the motor face connections with the PCB and run the start to run GUI again. Uh, when this is finished, you can click on the show output files. Uh, and here you can find two, two pods, one of the BKMF shape and one of the BKMF harmonics. And the most important file is the Melexis start to run .h file. This is a header file which looks very similar to the motorparams.h file in the standard Melixis software. Um, here already some parameters are calculated or measured by the uh, Melixis start run GUI. Um, and this will give you a uh, big boost to start your project.